Caleb, you talked a lot about kind of the, the hunger of this group and all that. Keeping a core together as, as much as you've had, had the last few years, how much does that help at the beginning of the season where just about every team is still trying to figure things out? Yeah, I think um, we, we got the blend right, you know, this off season. Um, we had enough continuity, which is always important, um, but also enough new blood and new players. And, you know, like I said, it's about 10, 10 out, 10 in. You know, and yet we have largely like the Charleston game, I think I counted uh, eight guys that started the MLS Cup in 2020, three new guys. So when you look at that, you go, okay, we have eight guys that won MLS Cup, but three new guys that maybe make us even better. Uh, and then obviously on the bench, some guys that make us better. So um, I think it's been the right amount. And also with our signings, we got guys that really have brought a lot to the table inside the lines and outside the lines. Um, as leaders, even a guy like, um, you know, Jaleel, Andy Baba, has been, you know, honestly, one of our best leaders coming to this team. And just the energy he has every single day. He knows his role. He's looking to constantly help everyone be better. You know, he gets it. It's about the team. It's about um, where we're at at the end as a team, not about himself. Um, you know, a guy like Milos coming in, who's played at a very high level, has high standards, who wants to win. And the first thing he said to me, you know, is, I'm here to win. You know, I'm here to win. And uh, those are things you want to hear. Yayu Bola, who, you know, does extra work, you know, for 20 minutes because he wants to get better and he's hungry and he's really appreciative to be here. Um, you know, all these guys, are, you know, it's been, it's been fun. And, I can rattle off three, four more names, but um, good group. It's going to be a long season. There'll be ups and downs. I always say this going in every year. Um, guys, as much as I want to go 34 and 0, we're going to lose, <laughs> we're going to lose some games. Um, you know, but very confident throughout the course of this season that we're going to be where we need to be. To hopefully, at the end of the year, be in the playoffs and make and win the MLS Cup. Um, but we just got to ride through the ups and downs and. It's game one right now. That's it. That's all our mindset's on. It's winning this first game and getting those first three points in our home stadium and putting a marker down, you know, that this is going to be a fortress this year. And um, it's going to be very difficult for teams to come in and get points off, off us. We want to make that statement in this first game and, you know, give our fans a lot to be excited about for the rest of the year. You mentioned Jan. We saw his combination play with Steven in that last game. Um, Derek showed good moments too in these last three preseason games. In general, how do you feel about the winger group and, and I guess improvement they've shown in preseason? Yeah, I think they've all gotten better, honestly. Even Luis Diaz, you know, I thought he kind of plateaued a little bit last year, um, but he's got a different energy this year. Um, he scored the game winning goal today, you know, in the, you know, the small sided, but I just think it's all about, I think a lot of it's about what's between the ears and the energy and focus and just in general where where your mindset is and I think the guys have a really good mindset this year um, but you know I think Derek's improved you know you saw even you know in that last game he was a little bit more direct and decisive uh, we've been working on that with them um, you know Luis Diaz obviously with the, the cross you know so those are details that we've really been working on and I think they're showing up um, Yao's going to be a really nice player. He's he's kind of a a tweener in between all the wingers. You know, he's technical but also pretty quick and direct. Um, so he can do a little bit of everything. He can play outside or inside, and um, you know he's got a great attitude. He works hard defensively. He he just he just wasn't fit really. You know, he's just been here a couple of weeks, but I thought he had a good 60 minute shift in the last game and. You know, we know he's, he can at least do that. Mm. We talked about our tour coming back and what that could mean on field, but from a personal level, getting a guy like that back, we just talked to him, we talked about the difficulties of watching all of last year. You work with him every day. Just what, what's it like to have that guy back with the team, you know, being a part of things again, as opposed to kind of being on the outskirts last year? He's a big time leader and a big time player. And you know, last year I, I mentioned it, I couldn't mention it too much because he's out, but 
you know, his presence was sorely missed. And from a leadership standpoint, from a ball winning standpoint, from a fitness and running and range and transition standpoint, from a set piece, everything. Um, he was he was in 2020 one of the best mid graders in the league. You know, so you lose a guy that really, in a lot of ways, is your engine room, makes you go both sides of the ball, has that a little bit of that, you know, ball winning and you'd say enforcer presence, which is important in your team. Um, we missed that, all that stuff last year. So, you know, I think it's been just a nice surprise. We didn't know where he'd be at and, and he's progressed nicely and he just makes our team better when he's in. Um, he's one of the best midfielders in the league and it's a game changer when he plays. When we talked to you last week, you didn't sound concerned about the offense going in, but you did talk about it. Um, but to have a game where you score four goals, I know one got called back, but to see the ball go in the net, how much confidence does that give players, coaches going into the first game of the season? Yeah, it's important to put it in, right? You know you know your group, you know your talent, you know you'll, you'll get chances, but you, you have to you have to finally score the goal, right? And, and yeah, a lot of it's confidence, a lot of it's feeling. Um, so that was really good to see. I thought Lucas had his best performance of the preseason. I thought Derek was excellent. Yao showed why we signed him. Miguel Berry, I thought was his best performance. Even though he didn't score, he was in around it a lot. Um, you know, so, you know, Josh even coming in. When you look at the group even coming in, it was like, it's exciting. We got, we got a lot of options and um, I'm confident we'll get goals. But when we won MLS Cup, going back to that, you know, we did it with balance. You know, we didn't outscore teams every game. We didn't have the highest goal scoring in the entire league. You know, we, we had a good plus uh, minus goal differential, you know, and, and I think our foundation is going to be we're a very good defensive team that finds ways to win games and there'll be games where we score multiple goals. Um, we have a, a group that can do that, um, but I think our, our strength is in the balance of our team, both sides of the ball. And I think that that was what I saw in the preseason. It was back to that. Whereas last year, we didn't score as many as we needed. We didn't, you know, stop as many as we needed. So you know, that's not a good formula. Um, you know, are we ever going to be a team that leads the league in scoring um, with our budget? Probably not. You know, we have talent, but we're not going to have the talent of some of the teams. That's just a reality. Um, but we definitely have guys that can score goals. Lucas will consistently score goals. Miguel Berry and Jossie will score goals. And we just need the wingers to chip in, you know, five, five plus um, each guy, you know, and uh, a few from the midfielders, a few from the central defenders, and we'll be in good shape. Uh, you didn't see Josh out there. I know he left the game. Um, do you have an update on, on where he stands on? Yeah, we're still just being smart and careful with him, working him back in. Um, we don't think it's too serious. Um, I'll probably know a little bit more as the week goes on whether or not he's available, but I wouldn't write it off yet. I think he, there's a chance he would be. Um, so we'll, uh, I'll let you know more as the week goes on. Dealing with the elements early, I mean, you stood in the rain for an hour today. Saturday, it's going to be back in the 20s and 30s. Yeah. Is there a grit you have to show in February that's certainly a different dynamic in August? I'm a Michigan guy, so <laughs> bring weather, it on. The weather doesn't bother me. I've lived in the Midwest most of my life. Portland, it rained every day like this. I love it. I think it's the best soccer <laughs> weather you can have, actually. Way better than the heat, yeah. frankly. So um, I think there'll be a, an energy to the game. And, you know, obviously the fans won't have their blood boiling, you know, from running, but they will from hopefully cheering and the passion. And we need a good crowd, we need a good crowd. So I really encourage all our loyal supporters to get to the game. You know, I, I know it might be a little bit cold, but ultimately we need their support to start this year. And um, that's gonna be a big part of us doing well is having them behind us and sticking with us and um, you know, staying positive through everything because this is a good group. Trust me when I say that. Um, it's a good group, and there'll be ups and downs, but stick with us. I think we have a chance this year to do something special. Even to win your opener, does that give you uh, a leg up to get a quick start at home? Um, the schedule makers, despite the whatever the temperature is. 
Yeah, I think it, the, sooner, the sooner the better when you can get your first three points. And it's nice to be at home. Um, like I said, we want to get our first three points home and away as quick as possible. Um, obviously, starting strong helps. Um, but we got to start strong. We got to be strong in the middle and strong at the end. We, we started okay last year. Yeah. And we had a really rough middle and we had a very good end. So you really just have to be consistent. Um, the best teams I've had, they didn't always go on five wins in a row, but they rarely lost two games in a row. Yeah. And you just got to slow your up points. And you can't have a long run where you don't get points. You have to, you know, they'll look at Nashville. They had 18 draws, I think it was. Right. You know, and you'd say they didn't win much, but they also didn't lose much. And yeah. I think that's the key, just being tough to beat. And I think that's the type of group that we have. Like I said, we're not gonna, we're not, we're not gonna go out every game and just, um, you know, outscore every team. We gotta grind and fight and claw. That's the type of team we are. And, There'll be some games where, yeah, it's a 1-0. And that's a beautiful win. You know, any win is beautiful. Going back to the goal scoring, we talked maybe a month or so ago about the dynamic of Miguel and Chassis, how to balance both of those guys and get the best out of them. How have you seen maybe that competition and that dynamic change in the past couple of months to lead up to the season and how they'll play off of each other? Yeah, I think um, day one when we started talking about our kind of tactical vision for this year, um, which which is slightly different um, than some years I've had. Uh, we, we talked about how we're going to be flexible in formation and how the formation um, would be about putting the right personnel together in the 11, uh, but that our general, you know, kind of, I don't like style of play because there's not a good style and a bad style, right? There's, it's just the way you play, the things you believe in, you know, um, your kind of vision and I think our identity is very clear how we want to play and the, the strengths that we're going to have. The group knows that. But I think we're going to be very um, flexible <coughs> tactically. Um, you know, we, we can play a 4-3-3. Three, three. We, we, we know we can play a 4-2-3-1. Uh, we can play a 3-4-3 three, three, or even a 3-5-2. All four, four form formations still cold <laughs> um, all four of those formations have been worked on and talked about and so going back to your point there'll be some times where we play Miggy or Giassi and I feel like that's a strength because we start one and we've got a very good guy coming in um, no one wants to see a good guy starting and then another good guy coming in to the game that's fresh a guy that can score um, and we can determine who we start and who we bring in. Um, that's a good good problem to have. And then some games, um, you'll see, we're gonna play them both together some games. Um, and, and I think maybe that's on the road some, maybe that's at home some. You know, I like the idea of a 3-5-2 at times with both those guys up top. Don't really love a 4-4-2 of those two guys. I think we lose the midfield a little bit, unless it's a diamond, but I really think a 3-5-2 those two guys on the field at times, uh, you know, maybe it's a handful of times, but uh, I think that could be a good formation for us. It means we won't play with necessarily wingers. Uh, we have a lot of wingers, so I don't think that'll be something we'll do every game. Uh, we have the right thing to do, but I think it is the right thing to do every once in a while to get those two on the field. And I think we could cause a lot of problems, um, you know, for teams. And I think teams are gonna have to figure out our formation every game, and that's what we want. That throws a little wrinkle in. You know, we're playing a 4-3-3 or a 4-2-3-1 three, or a 3-4-3. Three, three. This first game, we've worked on all three of those. And, um, you know, the opponent's going to have to be aware of all three of those. Just a more generic, broader question. With the season starting earlier, what's the energy from the team that you're picking up this year that's the same in years past or different from years past? What are you seeing from the team that, uh, that you like going into this first game? I think this team has a great energy. Um, better than most. I think um, for whatever reason, just the chemistry is um, really a strength. You, you might have seen some of the videos, maybe not out there, of their karaoke night that we had. <laughs> Never done that. <clears throat> that was one of the funnest team building nights I've ever been a part of. I mean, just seeing these guys get up there and laugh and joke and, you know, the personality they have. So it's I think this is a group that's going to be high on personality, spirit, and chemistry. 
and a very good defensive team and a team that will find goals. Um, don't worry about that. But I think the strengths of this team will be in our locker room, our chemistry, our fighting spirit, um, our mentality. We're going to be a tough team, tougher than we were last year. <coughs> and um, a team that finds ways to win games. Sometimes two, three goals, sometimes one goal. Sometimes we're going to grind a bunch of draws. Personality, spirit, and I missed it. Mentality. Mentality. Mental toughness. This is a team that's very mentally tough. And, um, you know, I think it helps when you have an Artie definitely back in. It helps when you have Milos, tough guy. You know, I mean, Yao played in Poland. Yeah. You know, I went to Scotham and it was freezing. I don't want to be playing. He's playing in Poland. Milos is playing in Sir, you know, Red Star Belgrade. It's it's tough. There's yeah. a lot of pressure. Um, Artie, this guy hates to lose. He's extremely competitive. You add in a couple, two, three of those type of guys, and and we're healthy. Um, that changes everything. Gives you more of an edge. Yeah, and competition, right? I mean, every day matters, and there's yeah. tough choices every week. So the level goes up and. Um, these guys know they have to play hard every every day and every week to win a job on the weekend. Um, but the leadership, I think, and the mental mental toughness, um, it's a it's a little bit more of a kind of spirited group. You know, um, they laugh, they fight. We'll probably have a few more fights. In more fun. <laughs> We've seen every game we're having a fight, so I don't mind that. You know, obviously, you won't see me, you know, throwing, and throwing punches, but. Um, You're a Michigan guy. Um, I'm not actually Michigan. Guy. I'm not a Michigan. Oh, guy. I'm from Where? Michigan. Yeah. But, uh, I went to IU. I remember. I'm yeah, not yeah. A, but I'm an Ohio State, more of a Ohio State guy than I'm a Michigan guy, 100%. Um, I, I cheer for Ohio State. Um, uh, so, but but yeah, I, I mean, for me, you always see what type of team you have when there are fights and when there are goals, and I think. You know, these guys are fighters, and I think uh, they want to win. It's that simple. So um, hopefully we can keep continue with that, you know? All right, guys. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Yep, thank you.